Let's tackle number 24 on the AMT-12. Now, despite this problem being number 24, it was actually surprisingly easy. So let's see a really quick solution to this problem. Okay, so we have a circle of radius r, and it's surrounded by 12 circles of radius 1, externally tangent, and we're asked to find r. So as I always say with these circle problems when you have a radii, is draw all your important radii. Does not mean you draw every single radii, there's infinite of them. Draw the important ones, meaning the ones that connect our center to points, important, like meaningful points. So let's see here, this point is a tangent. It's tan both circles are tangent here, so we draw that radii. You can see drawing these radii will give us valuable information. And the same thing on this side. Let's say this is R. All these circles have radius 1. So we can draw this radii is 1. This radii is also 1. And so on. Any really neat property that's always good to keep in mind for these problems is that whenever you have these two externally tangent circles, the center, the tangency, tangency point, and this, these three points are always going to be in a line. They're going to be collinear. And if you imagine the reason why you can draw a line here, and then by tangents, this is 90 and that's 90. So you get a total of 180. That's like a reason why that's the case. So we have, the, these, these are collinear, they form a line. Similarly, we have that, if we draw this radii out as well, it's also, whoops. <laughs> That's also going to be R, and this is also going to be 1. So how are we supposed to find R? Okay, so the key thing here is we have 12 such circles. And I'm not going to draw it out, but we can, if we, because we have 12 circles, we can divide up our figure into 12 triangles. 12 triangles, it forms a 12-sided polygon. And I'm not going to draw the rest, but it's going to form a 12-sided polygon. Imagine all of these sides to form a 12-sided polygon. And that means that if there's 12 of these sides, by symmetry, this angle is going to be 12, well, 360 by 12. That's 30 degrees. So that angle is 30 degrees. And now we have to find R. So we can even draw a separate diagram out here, because this is literally a very simple problem in itself. R plus 1, R plus 1, and this angle is 30 degrees. Now there's multiple ways you could finish here. One, and this is the simplest possible way. Well, first of all, all we, of course, we have to remember this is two, right? And then we can divide this up into one and then one. The simplest way to finish here would be to use sine of 15. Sine of 15 is always a good value to keep in mind. And let's just, let me just show you really quickly the solution with sine 15. So that, that would be 15 degrees. So sine of 15 degrees is equal to the opposite of our out. So that's one over r plus one. And sine of 15, it's a commonly known value to be root 6 minus root 2 over 4. And then, in fact, like cosine sine of 75 would just be root 2 plus root 6 plus root 2 over 4. So it's good to keep these values in mind. That's equal to 1 over r plus 1. And now we just expand. This is pretty straightforward. 4 over root 6 minus root 2. And then r equals 4. And you can just do the computation here, minus 1. And now we just rationalize, so 4 over root 6 minus root 2, and then we multiply top and bottom by root 6 plus root 2. The bottom is just 6 squared root 6 squared minus square root 2 squared, that's 4. So that's 4, and then 4 root 6 plus root 2. And then, of course, that's just this part over here. And this simplifies to root 6 plus root 2. So then this is equal to root 6 plus root 2 minus 1. So the answer is just, we're asked to find a plus b plus c. So a is 6, b is 2, c is negative 1. The answer is 7. Now, if you didn't know what sine 15, how could you proceed from here? There's two other ways you could have solved this problem. And I'm not going to go into them in depth, but just give you some ideas of how you could do that. One is you could use sine of 30, which is half, and then use the half angle formula. 1 minus cosine theta over 2. The other way is you could use law of cosines with r plus 1, r plus 1, and 30 degrees with this 2 side. And you get a pretty neat system of equations. Very similar here. You solve for r very similarly. And that's how you solve number 24, a surprisingly easy problem for its position. Thanks for watching.